Hello and welcome to this Vento 6 Designer Tutorial video. In this video we will talk about the floating point animations you can find in the property editor. This video is for everyone who watched our previous series for the Ventus 5 Designer and our Ventus 6 What's New videos. If you didn't watch these videos, we highly recommend this before watching this following video. To create a floating point animation, hover over the property and click on the wave icon. After clicking, a drop-down menu will appear and you can choose between several presets which are editable. If you want to change the parameters of the generic animation, you need to uncollapse the property. You will find five changeable parameters called type, min and max, duration and offset. The different types change the function of the animation. Min and max are the limits of the interpolation and duration defines the loop time. This is a really fast, easy and clustered synchronous way to animate properties generic and continuously. Perfect for simple movements, but this floating point animation through the property editor are limited. The mover node on the other side, which you can add over the content editor, or by clicking on the extract button right of your FBA animated property, brings the same features but extends them with a custom seat, triggering modes, swing and controls. With these options, you can use these generic animations with events and decide if you want them synchronized or relative. If you want to know more about the Ventus 6 Designer, you can visit our user manual website and the release notes on ventus.com. Also, you can watch our longer videos about the features on our YouTube channel or press F1 while hovering over notes in V6. Have a nice day, bye!